Hello, my little Wally. In today's tutorial, you will learn how to knit this spectacular 3D honeycomb stitch pattern. It's just amazing. It has a beautiful texture to it. This is the other side of the work. And if you're going to knit something that needs to stay flat, I suggest you add a nice edge on each side of the piece because it really doesn't curl, but the edges are kind of irregular. But I think it's a nice stitch to need many, many kinds of projects. You just let me know in the comments. How would you use this stitch pattern? So grab your needles, a little bit of yarn, and let's get started. Firstly, we need to cast on multiples of 6, for example, 6 times 2, 12, plus 5 stitches. I'm going to cast on 17. It shouldn't be tight, the cast on row. First and every odd row, wrong side of the work. So we start with net one. And now comes the repeat. The repeat is what you will find between asterisks on the written instructions. Remember, you can find my patterns on my website, sowoolly.net. And there is a link for you below this video on the description box, just below the title of the video. So the repeat is, with yarn in back, slip three stitches as if to purl. Just pass them onto the right hand needle. One, two, three. Net three. And don't pull the yarn, just let it be. One, two, three, and repeat. With turning back, slip three as if to purl. One, two, three, net three. One, two, and three. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there are four stitches left, ending with, with turning back, slip three, one, two, three, and net the last one. Only on this first row, when I get to the last stitch, I like to work it through the back loop. So I'm going to knit the last one through the back loop. This way, we can avoid a huge loop there. Second row, right side of the work. We start with pour one. And now comes the repeat. With yarn in front, slip three as if to purl. One, two, three. Pour three. Again, don't pull the yarn. One, two, three. That's it. With yarn in front, slip three as if to purl. One, two, three. Purl three. One, two, three. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there are four stitches left, ending with, with yarn in front, slip three, or wise, one, two, three, or one. Row three, just pull every stitch. Row four, net across or net every stitch. It's really fun to knit this pattern. You'll see. 
Don't feel intimidated because it looks complex. You'll see how easy it is. And just incredibly beautiful. Row five, as per row three, just pull across. Okay, row six. Pay attention because here comes the action. <laughs> we start with net two. One, two. And now comes the repeat. Put the right hand needle below, behind the two strands. You see them? One, two and knit the next stitch and pull it. Knit five. One, two, three, four, five. That's a repeat. Place the right hand needle below, behind these two strands, knit the next stitch and pull the yarn through these three loops and knit five. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm? If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there are three stitches left, ending with Okay, you see the two strands here. Place the right hand needle behind, knit the next, and pull the yarn through. Knit two. One, two. Row seven, knit four. One, two, three, four. And now comes the repeat. With yarning back, slip three as if to pearl. One, two, three, knit three. Same steps, as you can see, two, three, and repeat, slip three, two, three, knit three, one, two, three. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there is one stitch left, ending with knit one. Row eight, we start with curl four, one, two, three, Four, and now comes the repeat. With yarn in front, slip three, one, two, three, pull three, one, two, three. Same steps, and repeat. Slip three, one, two, three, pull three, one, two, three. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there is one stitch left, ending with curl one. Row nine, as per row three and five, just pull across. Pull every stitch. Row 10, as per row 4, just knit every stitch. Row 11, as per rows 3, 5 and 9, just pull every stitch.
twelfth and last row. Here comes the action again. We start with net five. One, two, three, four, five. And now comes the repeat. Place the right hand needle behind the two strands, knit the next stitch and pull the stitch through. Knit five. One, two, three, four, and five. And repeat. Below the two strands, knit the next and pull the stitch through. Knit five. One, two, three, four, and five. And keep repeating if you have more stitches. So this is it. Repeat these 12 rows until the desired length is reached. When finished, bind off pour wise after row two, facing the wrong side of the work. So this is everything for today, my little woolly. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and happy knitting.